How do you feel about your reading this year? Hello, I'm Malcolm and welcome to What We're Reading, episode 54, and it's time towards the end of the year to think about how has our reading year been. Now, if you're watching these videos, listening to the podcast, I guess it's because you're interested in reading, you're getting the most out of your reading. And so let's think about how the year has been. For my year, this has been a year when I've read more than most recent, recent years. One of the things that happened in, uh, in lockdown was the opportunity to read more. And I realized part way through the year, I just had far too many part read books. Perhaps you can relate, both on my bookshelf and on my Kindle. And so what to do about that? So I did a bit of research and looked on YouTube, of course, about tips for reading quicker, absorbing more what I read, how to make notes, how to uh, also uh, make it stick in, in my head, I suppose. And so I did a lot of that and, and came up with some ideas. And one was to get a new Kindle. I had an old one given to me for my 50th birthday, which I love, uh, but that was quite a few years ago now. And so I got myself a newer Kindle, which has been great because it's a lot easier to read and easier to make notes, easier to highlight. Very much enjoyed my new Kindle. And I've got a lot more books on there now. And I also got a subscription to Readwise, which enables me to import the Kindle highlights to Notion, also a subscription to Notion. And once in there, it's easier to then import those notes into uh, what we're reading episodes or other podcasts and videos or lessons that I'm preparing. So that's been very helpful. I've also been using Anki, uh, a flashcard um, uh, app that works on the web, but also on the phone. And I'm using that to help me to learn things from books that I really want to learn. Also been using audiobooks more this year. Uh, I got a subscription to Audible, which I'm really enjoying and listening to Make It Stick, for example, a great book and other books about learning and reading and learning and absorbing things. I've also been using an app called Air, which looks rather like this on my phone. And the advantage of using that is, is for podcasts. And you can, uh, it allows you to save a podcast clip. Again, save it into something so you can use it later if you wish. For example, I like listening to Douglas Jacobi's excellent podcast. And now and again, he'll say, I have a, a podcast on Apollos. I think I was listening to it the other day. I thought, that's a great quote. That's a great thought. I can save that and import it into Notion. So that's been very helpful. So I've enjoyed that. What else have I been doing this year? I enjoyed doing some interviews with Randall Porter and Tyrone Marcus. Doing those interviews was great fun because when you talk to an author who's written a book, you get an insight more into them, but also into the book and what they've written. And if you are an author, I'd be interested in interviewing you, really for my own benefit as much as yours, because I learn more. But also, uh, if you know an author, why not talk to them and interview them about their book? I think you'll find it interesting. I've also learned the value of speeding up audiobooks to or podcasts to one and a half speed, not deep ones about theology and philosophy so much, but things where I'm just trying to learn something fairly quickly. I've learned by experimenting how quickly I can speed up recordings to, uh, to and still absorb the material. What else have I been doing? Let me just check my list here. Oh, yes, of course, I have been uh, partway through the year, I decided that I would post these once a week. And that's been holding me accountable for doing more reading. And that's been very helpful. I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to talk about next week? What am I going to talk about next week? Which books am I reading? Am I going to finish them? That's been very useful. And also being part of the Renovare Book Club has been very helpful. I've mentioned this a few times as I've been reading uh, Pete Gregg's book and now starting a book by, reading a book by Howard Thurman. Uh, making me read books I might not otherwise read, but also having a forum in the book club to discuss those books. And leading that book club also helps me stay accountable because it makes me read, because I must read that. If I'm going to lead a book club, I'd jolly well better read the material myself. So that I found also particularly helpful. I still do have quite a lot of books part read, both on the bookshelf up there, then I have a shelf of sort of current reading books. Um, and the, the shelf has got a little shorter but I do have too many books that are part read both up there and in my Kindle. And so one of the things that has come to me, and I'll talk about this more next week, is 
I do believe I've been reading too many bad books. I have a sense of duty and obligation to books. I love books. I think they're wonderful and I have written a book. And I, so I, if I start a book, I feel like I'm dishonoring the author by not finishing it. And I need to deal with that guilt issue because sometimes I realize I've been spending too much time reading books that are either bad books or just not the right book for me at this point in time. And I need to have a better conscience about putting it on one side so that I can finish the books that are really actually important and meaningful. So that's one of my reflections on the year. Uh, I've persisted too much with either bad books or books that aren't the books to read right now. That's one thing. And what to rejoice over for this year? I would say just that I've enjoyed reading more. I've enjoyed it and I've read more. That's been a really nice thing to, to experience. And I've enjoyed making these videos actually and interacting with you and with the authors that I've managed to interview. So thank you for that. What are the big lessons for you this year? That's just, I'd love to know. In your reading this year, whether you've read a book a week, a book a day, or you've read two books in the whole year, it doesn't matter. This is not about, it's not about us keeping score here. Uh, I have wanted to read a book a week so for the latter part of the year, and I want to maintain that going into next year, more on that next time. But it's not about the quantity. It's about what your motivation in reading. It's about what you're trying to get out of the reading. It's it's how you feel about it. So I'd like to know, how has your reading year been? What are the lessons from the year for you? So please drop me a line and let me know. It's malcolm at malcolmcox.org or by the website malcolmcox.org. Let me know. And until the next time, keep reading. Take care. God bless.